Well, hello everyone, it's Sharon here again um, for another Essential Stencil live video. And thank you so much for joining me if you are watching the replay of our live. Don't forget to comment the word replay down in the comments because you still have a chance of winning some prizes uh, in the 24 hours after the live has finished being live. So I am excited to show you our new spring collection today. So while I'm just refreshing my page here on the computer, let me know where you're tuning in from. Hi, Kathy. Kathy, I feel like sometimes you're first online all the time. I'm so excited to see you here. Hi, Sandy. Um, hi, guys. Hi, Cheryl. So good to see you. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm in Australia. It's uh, hot. It's summer and we're sweltering here these days, but I'm so excited to be joining Essential Stencil live again. I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff. So if you want to follow my page, I'm I Restore Stuff is the name of my business and I restore furniture, do a lot of DIY projects, upcycling projects and I also love using Essential Stencils project products, the stencils for my furniture, um, furniture makeovers and things like that as well as sign making. So while some of you are joining in, thank you Robin, I'm doing very well tonight, thank you so much for asking. While um, people are joining, I wanted to show you these huge large wooden tags that are now well tomorrow tomorrow they'll be available they are a part of they are being launched with the rest of the spring collection so while we've got people joining I am going to show you the rest of the bundle because I was delivered that this week I'm so excited to get that so ambassadors will be showing you lives from that and they will be available for pre-order tomorrow on the app which is Thursday the 20th on Friday the 21st they'll be available for pre-orders on the website so if you do want to download the app. I'm just um, painting this black on the edges here for our project today. So um, just wanted to do that while we're chatting. But yeah, if you are just joining us, we are talking about the brand new spring collection that you will see some ambassadors um, demoing this week on lives. I'm so excited to be showing you some of the spring collection today. But what we're doing first is we've got these large wooden tags. Now these, you know the small mini tags. These are going to be so much fun. Thank you so much for sprinkling, Jennifer. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing our live. You can just hit that little share button, share it with your followers, or if you're in a group that um, loves DIY that allows you to share, please go ahead and do so. So I'm painting these wooden tags, the edges, black, and I'll show you why in just a minute. But I'm just using a small craft or art brush to do that. And um, how many of you are excited and have seen a sneak peek? Now, I do have a link in the description of our live today for the new spring collection. You're welcome to look for that link and, and click on it. I would love it if you use my code, I Restore Stuff. When you do order tomorrow or Friday, you can order from there and receive a further 10% off. Now the spring collection will come with a bundle of, you know, all of the items. And when they, when Essential Stencil usually does their bundles, they do a bundle because they want you to save. So they do it for a great deal. So you'll get a great deal on that bundle. And then if you use an ambassador code, and mine is I Restore Stuff, you just have to type in that code, you'll get a further 10% off. So You'll hear me talking about that today on our live. So um, can you see that black that I'm painting the edges? Tracy's here. Thank you so much for sprinkling and sharing. I can't wait to show you. I'll be showing you in just a minute the some of the collection we'll go through. I won't open everything, I promise, <laughs> um, because we'll be doing that over the next week as, as your ambassadors here on Essential Stencil as we receive our packages. We're so excited. So I don't want that to get fully on the top there so I'm being very careful not to get it on the top so if it does get on the top I just use a cloth and wipe it off one more section to go I did start this earlier so that I could just do a little bit on the live and wouldn't have to do the whole lot but I just wanted to show you how we're what we're doing is sort of making a border so the reason I'm doing that is and I might you might find me repeating some things but um, that's because sometimes we have people joining us halfway through the live so just don't mind me if I do repeat myself. Oops, I've just smudged it all on there. So the reason I don't want to get it on the top is because I'm going to be doing the top a different color. And then, so what we've got is a black border and that's going to 
create a difference then, a differentiation between, so what I've done is I've painted this one already with, this is a beautiful fusion mineral paint colour. I do furniture painting and I stock this type of paint here in Australia. So um, that is available on, I've got a link, an Amazon link you can find, you can ask me for that later if you want for that fusion paint. But this is the colour Bellwood, it's kind of a soft greenish colour beautiful colour and I've put this black border down here and then that leaves room for me to paint the other side so if I do these for spring you can turn it over then paint a completely different season you know you might do summer next or you might you know do a fall design on the back so that black border there allows you to just be able to change colour for the for the next season that you want to do so let me just add that now these are the large wooden tags in the brand new spring collection that I'm going to be showing you a little bit of in a minute. Oops, all right. Now this is, I might give you some tips on just trying to paint something without going over the edges. See, it's a bit tricky now not to get this green going over here. So maybe I can give you a few little tips on that. I'm just using one of my Klingon brushes. Also, I can link to that with my Amazon affiliate link. I'm just trying to refresh my page here to see if I can find my live. Here we are, because that sometimes will bring up my comments that I'm able to see. There we go. Size of the large tags, please. Someone's asking. Now let me just grab the tag bag, see if it's on there. 7 inches by 16 inch tags. So 16 inch. I should have brought my little mini tags out to show you the difference in size, but the mini size tags are a lot mini. They're only like, you know, hand span. Whereas these are large. Great for door hangers, that kind of thing. So this is going to be cute. <coughs> um, so that was seven inches by 16 inches. All right, so here's our Bellwood color. I'm gonna put this on now. So you want a nice flat brush to do a flat surface. And what I like to do is let me see if I can get up a little bit closer. I'll pop the camera down a bit further too. What you want to do is start from the middle of your of your board here. Let me see if I can get that. There we go, in shot. So you want to start from the middle, not on the edge here. So then I want to just go up and down to get my nice smooth strokes straight up and down. I usually work along the grain. And if you just do one coat of this, um, you may be able to, I'll show you this in a minute, you can still see a slight grain on the wood. Then I'm going to move slightly out like this, just off the edge so that it's not going to go on that black. See how I've done a nice sharp black edge there. Ooh. Then as we go up and down again, you just move really close to the edge and then you won't get it over the edge. So let me go through that again. So here's our black on the side, you'll see. And I'm just gently taking my brush with the paint across the edge and I've hardly, I mean, I've got enough, not as, I don't offload it or anything. So I do have a fair bit of paint on there, but then I go back and forth and smooth out those brush strokes. Okay, so just taking a little bit of paint, <coughs> hardly anything on there. If there's too much, I brush it in the middle, then go off the edge like this. Because that's easier to do sideways to go off the edge and then you get your nice smooth brush strokes back again. With the mineral paints and chalk paints, you do need to work fairly quickly because they dry super fast. So this, by the time I finish doing my other sign board, my other big long tag, this one should have finished drying. I did bring the hairdryer out just in case. But see how I'm just going off the edge there and being careful not to, you don't wanna get that hole filled up with paint either. I'm actually just going to leave that hole unpainted. You could get a tiny brush in there and do that if you wanted to. But see how I don't have any green on that black edge there that I've, if you missed earlier, I painted the edge black so that then we could flip over and do a completely different color and it creates a bit of a border there for the side of the wooden tags. You can see the change in the color, that color green already as it's starting to dry different areas kind of looks a bit patchy. And again, going off the edge. And if we did make a mistake at all with, you know, going off the edge here, 
um, just going to do these end bits and show you. So we're just going off the edge. If we drag the brush, you'll create drips down on that nice, smooth black finish. No worries. Thank you. Someone said thanks for the tip. There's my furniture painting tip for the day. It's great for painting furniture and your back of your signboard, your back, you know, signboard techniques. So again, we're going really close to the edge here, but I don't want to go over the edge just yet. We're going over the edge down below there. Now I'm going, I've got to put my, there we go, going off the edge here and trying not to let that brush flick down onto the black paint on the side. Then using my brush strokes going back up again. It does help if you have a nice quality paintbrush too. These are a Klingon S30, this one is. I sell these here in Australia in my online shop. So if you are from Australia, that's where you'll find these. Otherwise, my Amazon link, I've got some Klingon brushes linked there. I've got a whole um, wish list kind of a thing on my Amazon shop that's got all sorts of stenciling ideas and products that you can find. Okay, you can see that starting to dry really quickly over here. So when you are painting, be careful not to go over the top. So now that that's drying, I'm not going to use my brush to go over that anymore because it'll start to drag and pull. So there's a, a painting tip for you too. Once you've laid it on, don't go back and forth, back and forth, because you'll cause stickiness, tackiness, and you'll create more brush strokes instead of a nice smooth finish. Now you can see brush strokes here, that's because it's drying, it's all quite patchy, but here's one that I've done earlier. And you can still see the wood grain in there. That's only one coat of that Bellwood color. That's a fusion mineral paint color called Bellwood. And you can still see a little bit of the grain in there, which I like that. So I'm gonna leave it with just that one coat. So if you were going to do a second coat later, or if I'm finished, I can pop this in the water. But if you're doing a second coat later, I usually just like to put it in a bit of a plastic bag. Oops. So that the paintbrush doesn't dry out in between coats. Okay, and there's my black brush right there. So I'll leave this one dry and I'll be working on the other wooden tags. So these are the new pine tags that are available um, when the whole spring collection launches tomorrow in the app. Who here has the Essential Stencil app? It's very easy to just download from the app store. Someone's having trouble with the video freezing. Oh, I hope it's not doing that for everybody. Um, yes, I like being able to see the wood grain too. All right, so let's have a look. Who wants to see the, the new spring collection? So we've got, I'm not gonna take them all out because we'll be doing that over the next few weeks, but this is one of the door hanger for the, this size. And we said it was seven inches by 16 inches. So this one is perfectly made to fit with the cuts here and the hole um, out of it. And it's got a gorgeous spring bloom on the back. If I move the pencil directions are stuck in the back there but you can see that through there I'll be using that uh, bloom sign now in the stencil in the collection we've also got the transfers so the transfers and I want to use some transfers today so stay tuned because we'll be showing you how to do the transfers these are gorgeous and these are the spring peonies peonies and that's those there. There is another flower set, floral set, and you can see that in the link that I've got there in the description. Um, and they are, I don't know, day, no, pansies, I think they are, but I didn't get one of those just yet because they weren't ready, but they will be ready for the pre-orders. Shipping is due to, now I wrote this down. Shipping is due to ship, things are due to ship on the 31st of January. So the launch in the app is tomorrow. And Friday, the 21st, is the launch on the website for all pre-orders. So get your pre-orders in. And the expected ship date for the spring collection is the 31st of January. So Essential Stencils, put that there in the link. There's the um, pinned link. And when you order the transfers, you always get one of these, which is very handy. I'll show you how to use that in a minute. Um, Stencil of the Month Club, let me mention that too because someone said that they were thinking of joining the Stencil of the Month Club. 
I had to share something about that. Lock in the current um, Stencil of the Month Club rates. Lock in those rates by joining before February 1st because February 1st, some of the rates will go up, some of the shipping rates will go up in accordance with, like Essential Stencil honestly has never um, done a price increase for the whole time I've been with them and that's been years. So now is time because they've been absorbing all of that cost. So just a little bit, they'll be going up February the 1st. So if you are going to order, now's a good time before the 31st of January. Um, so if you are thinking of joining the Stencil of the Month Club and getting, you know, three whole stencil sets this size, um, every month you get that size, three of them, they all coordinate with each other, plus a bonus add-on if you, if you um, desire the add-on. And that gets shipped to you every month. And so their rates are on the stencilofthemonthclub.com. You can see that there, but the rates will be going up just a fraction after February 1st. So lock in those rates. But don't forget, use my code IRESTOREStuff and get 50% off your very first month. So if you are thinking of joining, today's a good day. Use my code IRESTOREStuff and get 50% off your first month. Let's have a look at some of the minis in the spring, uh, spring collection. We've got Springtime, this is called. There's a three pack there with some gorgeous spring designs. I won't be opening all these because we want to get on with our project. My door tags are drying. We're doing the huge wooden door tags today. We have Easter Blessings, a three pack. It's got Easter Blessings, a cross and worthy is the lamb. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's that. We've also got another Easter theme, Some Bunny Loves You. This is a six pack, so it's got some cute bunny sayings there. All of these you can see in more detail over on the EssentialStencil.com website. Yes, a lot of people saying Stencil of the Month Club is so worth every penny. I agree. They have some beautiful stencils there. And anything that you might have missed in previous months, you can always order in the Essential Stencil, um, Stencil of the Month Club shop, which they have their own exclusive shop there with exclusive items just for club members. So it is totally worth getting. Here we have a three pack butterfly set. Isn't that adorable? Well, it's actually four pack adorable. I don't know what I said there. I'm missing my words. Just beautiful. It's a three pack, but there's a bonus down here. So the bonus is this one on the back, these extra butterflies. So we've got a three different butterfly styles there. Gorgeous. Now, who else loves Essential Stencils, cute little punny puns in their stencil sets? I do. And this one is um, great, garden puns. Okay, so I'll let you look that up at my link that we've got there to look in more detail. But for example, dance to your own beat. And there's a little picture of a beat. There are find your inner peas and some peas. You know, I can hear everybody giggling, cringing, or saying that is a classic dad joke, but I think they're funny. They're very cute. Let's root for each other. Look at that. So there's six in that little mini there. The mini sets are all six inches by six inches. Very cute signs. We also have some cute fruit puns. So we've got six of those there. Sweet as a peach. We make a great pear. One in a melon. <laughs> so that's cute as well. All right. So larger stencils. Beautiful flower designs. So there's three in that set. So the other ones are right here. And of course, just click the link that we've got there at the top and you'll be able to see a little bit more detail. I love these. I can't wait to use these on something. Um, we're going to be growing some veggies. Aren't we, Tori? <laughs> I just, she's in the background um, in the kitchen over there. So that will be really fun to grow your veggies, put some little pickets and add the stencils on there. Here is another door tag for, remember, I'm doing this for our project today. These are the huge pine tags. You know, the mini ones. Well, we've got large ones. So there's another one. Hello, spring. So there's that cute design there with all of the butterflies on both of those. So that's that. We have some 12 by 12 stencils. This one is the stencil pack name is Bloom with Grace. And we've got three in that. But first, pray. How cute is that? So there's three in that set. <clears throat> all of these you'll be able to see and all of these will come in as a bundle 
when the spring collection launches tomorrow in the app. So if you don't have the Essential Stencil app, just download it from your app store, wherever you get your apps on your phone, and you'll be able to purchase from there with that um, bundle tomorrow. But use my code, I restore stuff, and get a further 10% off on the spring bundle. Isn't this cute? I love this vintage style sign look. Cottontail Farms. This one is actually called Cottontail Farms. It's a gorgeous wheelbarrow filled with carrots on there. Cottontail Farms Happy Easter on the back. So that's a two pack set, 16 by 12. And I think we've done them all. This is the one I'm going to use today. So if you missed that, you can watch the replay to have a look or just click the link there and you'll be able to see close ups of all of the different designs. Right, let's have a look. Um, oh, let's see if there's any questions. Tiffany says, I'm in love with all the garden ones. I know, aren't they cute? And so, yep, Essential Stencil can probably answer some of your questions if you do have. Yes, they're answering some questions there too. So I can't catch all of your comments and questions, so they are very helpful in that. All right, with our transfers, let's have a look at how to do transfers. Um, a lot of you may have done transfers before, but some of you haven't. And then we'll be doing stenciling on our one that is pretty much almost dry now. I can see a couple of bits I need to touch up on that. But So the Spring Peonies set, it comes with two, two sheets. So I'll pull both of those out so you can see both of them. And don't forget when you're ordering, use my code I restore stuff for 10% off. That's even off the whole bundle. So we've got smaller ones here and then larger peonies there. Aren't they just adorable? So what I want to do with this tag is cover it with blooms. And then I'm going to be putting um, something else, one of the stencils on here. So I do like the idea of the tiny ones, but hey, we might fit a few larger ones in there too. And I think this one will fit perfectly on the bottom. Oh, we have another, another one there too. So let's go with, yeah, let's go with this one at the top. I love the transfers because they just lend so nicely to all of the stencil sets. And these are just so beautiful for spring. I think these are watercolour too. I just love the, the artwork in them. Let me just pop this down a little further so we can see. And I'll try to keep up with some of your comments. They are, the, the images are quite cheerful, aren't they? Love the new rub-on transfers. Yes, really easy to use. Okay, so I've cut out my transfer here. It's got the white backing on it. Here's the space where I want to use it. I've painted it a nice bellwood color. And we're just going to remove the white paper backing it just comes off really quite easily it's not like a sticker the sticky part is where the actual transfer is so this is the back of the transfer that is sticky don't touch it just touch the edges which are not sticky these edges here I'm going to place that down the base of my sign I have to lean right over and oh, scroll you down so that you can see better all right, so we're placing as best we can wherever we want to do it. Oh, it's going to go off the edge. Maybe I can tip it slightly so that it doesn't so much, or it doesn't really matter, does it, if it does go off the edge? I think it's just going to reach. What I want to do is just cover this. Now you could add stencils up here. You could just add a few, but I feel like this would look great if I covered the entire surface in these beautiful blooms. rubbing it really well then you can test an edge to see if that's coming up and it is coming up beautifully if you have any little sections that are not coming off just place it back down I mean yeah the, the lifting then you can see the clarity behind yeah, you can see if anything's stuck to the surface. So this one on, went on really well. A lot of times it does depend on the painted surface that you paint onto. 
This was just straight matte paint on raw pine. I only did one coat. So it's not a super glossy surface and it's really like well to stick into that surface because sometimes I'll have a little bit more trouble depending on the surface of getting that to stick. So that went on really super quickly and beautifully. You can see it, um, you can't even see the edges on this. It's just really, really lovely. All right, so then we get to play designer. And um, if I was gonna use these large stems, I probably should have put them on first to make that come forward. But what I want to do is just fill it now with some of these other lovely flowers. Some of these single ones. We could even add leaves. So we're just cutting out whatever you want to add. That's a pretty colour too. It's almost like a wine um, purpley. Merlot y colour. So there's those. We could just add them in different areas. Love the paint colour. Yeah, the paint colour is lovely. It's called Bellwood by Fusion Mineral Paint. Um, let's see. We could even go with this one up on the top here. All this. So really easy to use. What I might do is cut them out first, arrange the design where I want it. There's another single one over here. Oh, and a tiny one and some leaves. Let's go with those. And what have we got? We could even use this other purple one here. Let's see if I can do something with this. I was going to show you sort of how you can put this stem behind another one and put another one on top. So these would make even a great background for signs also. You can take some of those leaves and add them around too. Yes, Essential Stencils reminding you that pre-orders start tomorrow. So on the app, the Essential Stencil app. The pre-orders will start tomorrow. Um, so just download the app and use my code iRestoreStuff for an extra 10% off the whole entire bundle or whatever you decide to order. Okay, so we have, oh, we've got a lot. Cut out a whole bunch and then see where we go from there, hey? Okay, where's that single stemmed one? So this one we could put here, then we could add another one that just kind of covers that up. This one we could add over here. So we want to do a whole range of, oh, I was thinking it would fit above that hole, but that's okay. So there's a leaf. And then on Friday, the whole website opens up for pre-orders. So app tomorrow, Thursday, and pre-orders on the website on Friday 21st. Um, I want to put a different colour here so let's go with that. Oh, there we go. That one here. And you know see how you can just sort of make it up as you go along. A little one here. You can add a little leaf there. So then as we go we can fill some more spaces. You could sort of go off the edge if you wanted to also. Um, there you go, another leaf up here perhaps. Could even add a leaf to a to an actual branch, couldn't you? Or it could just have it coming behind that flower, like so. So when you're starting, use whatever you're going to use in the background to start with first. So what I'll do is I'll lift this slightly. Are we still in the shot? There we go, guys. If you know of anyone who wants to, um, who's a DIYer, let them know about our live today by just hitting that share button. No problem at all. Here's the transfer again. So we've got this. I'm going to move that along. Just placing it wherever you want it. Once you've got it down, it's best to just leave it there. There's no going back. <laughs> It'll stick to that surface. Use your 
transfer tool to rub the transfer on. And then all you're going to do is move, let that lift the clear plastic. And if you do see any, any lifting, and sometimes you might see that little area lifting there, just move, um, you know, smooth it out with your fingers when you finish. There we go, lifting it right up. Whoop, see that one stuck? See if I can move it closer to the camera. If you do see it lifting, just rub it. Lay it back down and rub it. And then just smooth it over with your fingers. Now when I'm finished, I could seal this with some just some flat matte sealer of some kind. But see how you could just leave that and that and add some words in the middle. But we'll just continue adding our blooms. Now because I want this one behind there, I'll leave that a little bit. I might put this one. I might bring that one up a bit further up the top. Any, um, will you add words? Someone asked. I'm going to add words to this this one here that I've just painted earlier so that it sits, when you sit it at, um, hang it on the door, it'll sort of be like this. So it may cover up some of the flowers or you could, you could arrange to just hang them completely separately on a wall with your, you know, with different hooks as a piece of artwork. You may have double doors that you could put one on each door. Okay, lift this part here. No, I'll lift the edge because that's easier. I'm so glad that this one's coming off super fast. Sometimes, like I was saying before, you may have a different surface. Oh, a surface that uh, it'll get, it won't stick to as well. But I'm finding I'm in luck today. Let, remind, let me remind you that if you are watching it for the first time, let us know that. But if you're watching the live, stay tuned till the end because we always give away prizes right here. There's another one. Adding a pink one down here. Just adding them randomly. But what are some other ideas? I'd love to, oh, Tiffany says, I think I'd add some gold metallic highlights. I love, I love, um, oops, let me see if this is, sorry guys, someone was saying they can't hear me properly, so I'm just checking my little connections here, seems like it's all good, I love watching the comments for your excellent ideas, all right, here we go, lifting up again, Looks like I have, this is what it looks like when some gets left behind. It's only a small bit right there. Can you see that? That got left behind and I lifted it too soon. I could add it if I wanted to. If you do have a big, bigger mistake, you could add that. Look, I can't even remember where it goes. So I think I'll just leave it. Oh, there it is. Right there. You could add it, but to this one, it really doesn't matter. Because it's such a tiny little spot. And there it's disappeared now so that's what i mean by if you've got it in place <laughs> i don't think i put that in the right place never mind too late all right i'm going to put this leaf down we've got the leaf yeah sandy says the transfer definitely add a whole new dimension to the the products don't they to the stencils to the tags you can add these to furniture so my blog is called irestorestuff.com and if you visit my blog over there, you'll see lots of furniture painting tips and tutorials on my YouTube channel also, where you can find out how to decorate your furniture bits and pieces. So let's add this one just over the top of that leaf. Yes, thank you, Peggy. Welcome to all our newbies here today. Anyone who's never stenciled before, let us know in the comments. We'd love to know and um, encourage you all to practice on a stenciling, especially on a piece of paper or a cardboard or something like that. But with transfers, 
I feel like you can't really go wrong. Well, apart from maybe putting it in the wrong place or something, but once you've got it down, it's so easy just to pull it back. There we go. So let me show you a little bit closer on that one. So I put the leaf down first and very, very slightly, you can see that leaf behind the flower there. So I've just added that behind. We can add a few more flowers down here. We can always um, add more when I'm finished here too. We don't have to just stop it, stop it a few. <laughs> so there's, you get the idea though, as I'm transferring here. And then we'll go on to this one that I did earlier. So if you missed the very first part of the live, I painted the edge black. And the reason I did that is it, cause it gives a little bit of a border. So if I do a spring on this side, I can change and do paint the other side a completely different color. And you've got that um, border that's differentiating the two sides. So you can interchange them for different seasons. Totally do that with signs as well interchange them for different seasons and have a double-sided sign. So I might do that and you might see another season where I'll bring back this same set and we'll do the other side. Okay, here's a purple. Judy says, I'm using a couple of stencils. Oops, I missed it. See those things scroll up so fast. I love all your ideas though. In the Stencil of the Month Club, uh, you are then able to, if you join the club, you can join their Facebook group, a private Facebook group for the club members and share all sorts of inspirational ideas there. And some of the people in that club are just sharing amazing projects and I love to see what they come up with. And some of them, um, yeah, we just love it when you share <laughs> your projects. So. Oh, so Essential Stencil is clarifying there that the wooden tags will not be included in the spring bundle. Okay, so they will be a separate item, but they will be available to pre-order, I believe. I hope I've said that right. So the spring bundle, it will have on the website exactly what's included in the spring bundle. So um, we're going to add this down here. Another leaf doesn't have to be joined to anything, does it? Really, it could just be floating in the air. Why not? Yes, thank you so much for saying welcome to all the newbies. It is really fun to mix and match. And I'll just mention the Stencil of the Month Club again because they do give you, every month um, will come to your door a set of three different stencil um, pages of stencils. It's not just three stencils, it's like pages of stencils. Three different ones that all interconnect with each other and some of them are designed by us ambassadors which has been a fun project and um, the one that's out now is the February one and that one is still available to to place your orders. If you do order the Stencil of the Month Club, subscribe I mean. Uh, don't forget to lock in the current price you'll need to order or join the club before February the 1st. That's when your price prices are increasing a little bit so please if you're thinking of joining um, and those who are already a part of the Stencil of the Month Club you do not have to worry about your your prices going up at all anywhere okay so never fear you are grandfathered in they call that to the Stencil of the Month Club and your prices won't rise this is just an increase for new members on the 1st of February. So lock in your current at the current rates and use my code IRESTOREStuff to get 50% off your first month. So there we go. Leaves. Now I do have a little bit of space here and I will fill that as well. But I just want to keep going with our next part of our project so that we don't get bored just doing the one thing the whole time but if you've just joined me don't forget to stay to the end because we've got prizes to give away so we've got this as just a lovely background spring idea here I'll sprinkle a few more flowers in there later and take some pictures of it but here's our um, painted version that I painted earlier it's completely dry now if you missed the beginning of the light I showed you some painting tips for how to paint the top 
without getting splotches on the black edge that I've painted earlier. So you'll want to see that. Here is a one of the stencil packs from the spring collection. Um, I did say, I didn't say 15, I said 50% off the first month in the Stencil of the Month Club using my code iRestoreStuff. That's correct, not 15, 50 off the first month, okay? So that is a really great deal, especially when you lock in those current prices before the price rise on February the 1st. So this is the one that's designed especially the same size as the wooden tags, the large tags. Now remember, I'm not doing those mini tags right now. We've had the mini ones for a while, but these are a huge, what did I say? 16 inches by seven inches. Okay, so we've got the word bloom and we've also got the beautiful flowers. What kind of flowers are they? Help me out here. Are they daffodils? They look like daffodils. So you'd probably do them yellow and green. I tossed over whether to add the flowers and then add another saying up the top here from one of the other spring collections. So that's an idea too. I had this other idea of doing this today and just putting the hello spring from this set up on the top here and adding the flowers to the bottom. But because I was doing this idea as well, the colors weren't gonna quite go because I feel like this has to be yellow and this was a different green. So, but you can save that idea for your door hanger project. You're quite welcome to use that. Okay, so here we go. This is the tag and we could also add some blooms around here, some of the transfers to kind of tie it all in. But see how we've sort of got one as a background and then we'll have one as stenciled. So thinking about what color to use, I might just go ahead and use that black or you could do some pink with that. Pink and black do actually look quite nice. I might do a pink shadow. How about that? We'll do a pink shadow and a black background. So I'm using the Essential Stencil brushes to stencil and they come in a set of four. Just use this as a chalk paint that I have left here in Australia that I use. We're just going to dip a bit of the paint on the end of the brush and that's kind of got blobs of paint on it. So what I'm going to do, make sure my cardboard here is clean. I'm using that to rub it into the background. And then we're going to use the pink. And then this is going to become the shadow and I will use some black to make the words stand out even more and you'll see just a light shadow line. This would also be great with some textured finish. So if you haven't seen any of the, um, the lives I've done using embossing methods, you can see that makes kind of quite a 3D looking um, lifts up because it's like a paste, a textured paste that you can use. There's a few different types of methods for doing that. But if you want to look at any kind of different stenciling techniques, right here on the Essential Stencil Facebook page, you can go back and watch any of our lives. They are also listed in the video section right here on the page. If you go to the video tab, they are listed um, in playlists. So you might look for Valentine's ideas in a playlist and you might find shadowing techniques like this in a playlist or embossed stenciling, raised stenciling. Um, you'll also find playlists for each of the ambassadors. So I'll have my own playlist you can see on there too. Okay. Oh, thank you, Renee. <laughs> Gonna need some more of that font. She likes this font, huh? It's gorgeous, isn't it? This bloom. So because I have offloaded the brush onto my onto my cardboard there, that's the reason that I'm not going to get a lot of fuzzy edges. So when you're very new to stenciling, there can be a temptation to put too much on your brush. So that's the lesson learned and that's why we practice. If you've never done stenciling before, I really recommend practicing on a piece of cardboard or just an old wood, you know, an old piece of wood and uh, stencil on that first and get the right amount of paint on your brush that doesn't cause fuzzy edges or bleeding underneath the edge. So I'm offloading it there. Oops, you probably can't even see my little offload section over here. I'm just rubbing it off onto the cardboard. Okay, so there we go. That's our shadow and that will dry super fast because it's chalk paint. 
So there we go with the bloom. What I'm going to do is use my wet cloth and um, rub the pink off as much as I can because I'm going to do black for the words over the top of this. Oop. Uh, I don't want that pink still remaining there because it'll change the color. It'll, you know, it'll mix with the black, and that won't be a good look. So when you do um, wipe off the back, remember to wipe off the back side of your stencil too because it does go under there with your wet cloth. You can see little drips forming on there. <coughs> okay, so then I do have a dry towel that I'll wipe that with, make sure it's completely dry before going over with the black. Back up my pink paint. So if you've just joined, let me see if I can see any comments or questions. Yes, I'll be adding the black to that in a second. I've just done the transfers, so if you missed that, you can watch the replay. I've finished with the pink now, so let me just show you really close on that so that you can see it has nice crisp edges, so there's no bleed through underneath the stencil, and that's because we've tried really hard to rub off or offload that. Let me see if I can wriggle this over a little. See my offloading patches? Here's the pink right here um, where I offloaded the brush before I put it onto the stencil. I can see one little little, little area here, but it didn't go under, it just kind of went a little high. So it's almost got a lifted um, area. So I can touch dry that and it's quite dry, but I will just hit the hairdryer on it for a brief couple of seconds to make sure it's completely dry. Marge says she loves stenciling because it's so relaxing. I do too. You know, a lot of people watch our lives here at Essential Stencil and they're actually crafting at the same time and they've got their iPad or their phone sitting here next to their craft project watching the lives as, um, as they're doing their own stenciling project. So I think that's funny. I think that's quite cute. Um, oh, wow. Jude has just finished digging out you got lots of snow that just sounds so lovely we don't get any snow even in winter time here in queensland where i live in australia and so it's quite quite hot today because we're on summer far from winter over here okay so i'm just using a mineral paint in the color it's a black paint um, it's an australian paint so if you're wanting something from the us i recommend getting one of their furniture type paints all right, so to do our, oh, you can see the green there. So can you see that green coming through? So I want to put the stencil exactly on the letters. Then I'm going to shift it slightly, shift my stencil <clears throat> slightly. Do I want to go down or up? It doesn't matter really. Slightly up to create a shadow. And you might be able to see that just moving slightly. So here it is back on the exact place where the pink is. And then we go slightly up. And you can move it slightly across if you want. And that will create a shadow for our, our stencil. So I have to, you can try and tape it down everywhere, but I've learned to really, um, oh, oof, let me see if I can move across so you can see the offloading thing happening. I've learned to really just hold it down quite well. Okay, so I've got that black on my brush. Might get a little bit more. And I'm just using the three quarter essential stencil stencil brushes. These come in a set of four. You can order those if you like to and use that same code. I restore stuff to get 10% off anything in the shop. And these wooden tag sizes, they'll be available uh, launching this week. All right, so here I go again. That pink is dry. So now I'm just going to gently swirl the black paint over the stencil. And we're going to have a lovely pink shadow under the black. So that should really stand out and pop against the green. So it's got this green color background. And we've got enough paint on our brush to last the whole B. Sometimes I never know when it's going to actually run out. But you can sort of see um, when it starts to lose its ability to cover. So we'll grab some more. Don't want to dip too much in there. I always wipe off the edge first. 
offload the brush, putting my hands down again. Now I started to run out just here, so I'm going to go over that again. Hopefully you can see the finished, finished look in just a minute. It really is super quick. So don't forget to hang around till the end of our live. We will be giving prizes. If you're going to, if you want to watch the replay too, please don't forget to comment the word replay because Essential Stencil will pick a winner from um, someone who's watched the replay within the next 24 hours after the live. Okay, I'm getting really close to this edge here. So what I do want to do is make sure I tape that because I shifted the stencil slightly over. I've got some board here and I do not want a black line right on the end of my board. So I'll get some painter's tape and just tape it for where this starts to look like it could come across. So there we go. So yes, stay tuned. And if you missed the beginning, we went through and looked at some of the other designs that there are. And we also uh, showed you some tips on painting your boards. I'll just pop that there. You can always um, wrap your brush if you're going to use it again in a wet cloth. And let's see. That way we don't get black on the edges. Here we go. How's that look? I love those colors for a nice pop of shadow. So we've got the pink as a shadow. Let's see how I can get that up close. Can you see the pink there? Bloom. So we've got that lovely pink shadow in the background. And that is our gorgeous tags that we did today. So you could hang that like that. I brought all of the things to kind of try and show you all the hanging ideas, but you guys get the idea because I am running out of time. But we used the transfers to just cover this and I'll add some more in here and you can see how we can easily hang that. So we are getting ready to pick some prize winners here. So let me just lift it up here and see if we can show that. So you could choose now essential stencil, the wooden tags will come with some string to hang them with. So you could use that as your basis and then add some other string here. I kind of feel like I would love some hints and tips for how you guys, if you've hung door tags, how do you get them to kind of stay like this? So my thought is you would have to add some hot glue to actually make it stay. Otherwise it kind of hangs like this. So I'd love to hear if you've got any tips for that. Um, otherwise I've also seen them hung sort of like this on an angle with the different ropes. I do have some other string or rope that's quite thick. So I've got this kind that would look lovely. You can also tie ribbons and bows. I think I'm going to have to buy some more craft ribbon because I think it needs something cute and springy up the top there. Here's something that I've found in the house, but it's not quite the right colors, but you can imagine adding all sorts of gorgeous little bling to your sign making. Um, just like that. So you can add the ropes. Someone says they use wood glue. Yeah, that's a great idea. And, but the thing is, so here's what I would have to do. I would have to reverse this and do my double sided idea and paint that first before I hot glue gunned those and then would have the similar look going on the other side. So you see what I'm talking about? So I would do the hot glue gun thing here after I've painted my other idea. So if you missed the beginning, I do plan on painting the other side for a different season. So we've got spring here and then we can use the other side for another season for fall or what comes next? Spring, summer. We could do a summer door hanging there. I love these colors. If you love any of those products, just ask me for that Amazon affiliate link and I can send you the link to some of the fusion paint, the paint, the brushes that I've used today. Let's see who our winners are today. Congratulations to these people. We do have them there. I can't see them there. I can see Kelly. I can see Betsy and Tiffany. Kelly, Betsy and Tiffany, congratulations. You are our prize winners today. Don't forget to comment replay on the replay if you're going to watch that. And guys, all of these beautiful spring collections and the wood tags will be out tomorrow. If you download the app, you can purchase your pre-order there. And the pre-orders will be available to pre-order on Friday on the website essentialstencil.com. But use my code, I restore stuff, and you get even more. You get 10% further off. The other thing to remember is the Stencil of the Month Club. If you wanted to join, now's a good time to join. Before February 1st, there'll be a slight increase. So if you want to lock in that current prices, 
go check that out, stencilofthemonthclub.com and use my code iRestoreStuff for 50% off your very first month in the club. So I'd really encourage you to do that. You get so many wonderful stencils sent to you every month. And um, that's all I think I've got to tell you. I think I've said everything I need to say. So congratulations to those winners. And I'll see you again next week. I'm Sharon and my blog is iRestoreStuff. You can find me at iRestoreStuff on Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram. I'm even on TikTok, guys. So if you're there, I will see you there and on my Facebook page, of course. So catch you next week. Lovely to see you all. Bye.